So we have just watched Legend of the Sea Devils and it was, I think it was like, I mean, for me, it was incomprehensible. Molly, you seem to have understood more of it than I did, but like not a huge well, amount. How about as a way of comparison, because we watched the old versus the new back to back. Right. I will attempt to recant the old plot first, which was the master had been foiled previously and sent to a prison and the doctor wanted to visit that prison to see what was happening. He did. With the understanding that there could be a worry because the master does have the capability of uh, uh, mind control. So, you know, you got to be careful with him. He's a, he's a pesky little lad. He can do all kinds of things. So that's, that's, that's all chill. He goes there. Everything seems tip top in order. The master is in a room that's got a little camera on him, and yep, everything's great. They demonstrate that the guards can't be hypnotized. They even demonstrate that, yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm only recounting plot. I'm not going to try and you know. I'm not going to. I'm not going to praise or criticize here. I'm just going to be like, okay. So then, in the area, there also happens to be ships going missing. Has been, I think. Did they say seventy ships lost in? I think. Was it no, 10? it was. I thought it was three ships lost. I thought it was over like ten years. There was oh no, 30. so they I, were I um, so that was um, what happened there is um, someone was saying like yeah, but ships go missing all the time. Why is this a big deal? And someone went well, in the last ten years, this many ships have gone missing. But um, yeah, I, I know, I know ships go missing all the time. Uh, and then he said, you know, he cites that figure to demonstrate that he's familiar with the the topic. Yes. Um, but then he's like, but these three ships have gone missing like in the last week in this very small area, so we think there must be a, like a connection. That's what he's, that's what's going on there. If you remember, the master is not happy with the doctor looking into this. He's um, not. But the doctor does. Curious lad. And we get a little like two la lads on a ship uh, like doing a thing and then they're attacked and it's horrifying. And uh, with, with lots of inspection, we discover that the master has convinced his prison warden person that there is a war coming uh, with spies from enemy agents that are going to sabotage British intelligence or something like that. <clears throat> and that uh, if he allows him to have the run of the place, he will be able to stop that from happening. Uh, in reality, the Master is actually hoping to become in league with, with the sea devils that are approaching yeah. and have been woken up by recent like buildings and approaches He's... with the... Uh, deliberately influencing the sea devils to make them um want to be aggressive towards humans aggressive. because he wants to yeah he wants to cause a war between sea devils and humanity to to just watch the world burn hoping to wipe out humanity yeah because he's a bastard yeah and um he has a mistake. Yeah, the doctor discovers this information over time couple action scenes couple chase scenes we foil the master unfortunately he does escape at the end uh, and that's that is the plot. It, is, it was quite easy to follow. Yeah. I mean, there, there, is, there are a few more, you know, complexities in that, but ultimately that yeah. is it, so... Um, yeah. Now, the new one. Okay, should we do um, this? So, they arrive um, in... So, no, before that. So, <laughs> Madame Ching is going, to, um, is, is going to a village where there's a statue of a sea devil. Um... She cuts into it with her sword and she takes like a rock out of it. But then a sea devil emerges from the statue and starts killing everyone. Yes. Why did any of these things happen? Um, okay, so we're going to have to do a lot of rewinding. There's a lot of stories that work this way where you try and explain a through line, but it's almost impossible because there are several things to establish first. Right. And I don't know what order they should be established, so... Uh, ages and ages and ages and ages ago there was a pirate who was doing his stuff and the sea devils were like we're gonna kill you and he was like damn it um, let's make a deal in yeah. which oh fuck because the, the other base piece of information is just like where did this keystone come from who made it what is it was it the sea devils thing um, I don't I don't remember that part the, the, the pirates have the the, the keystone that's what I do remember. Yeah. And that's what the Sea Devils want. And Yeah, they want it to Pirate flood Master the world. Pirate Master is like, you can have my ship if you spare my crew. 
which is betrayed, and then he sends all of his men away and gives one of them the keystone, who then passes it down in his family to be protected at all costs. And the sea dev one of the sea devils knew this and tried to get to them, and he was imprisoned via the the stone. I think that's what they say in the in the statue because that's how powerful it is. So the sta the stone uh, turned him into a statue. I think that's what they say. I think the doctor is like, yeah, it's pretty pretty big chungus. This this stone, huh? It's like, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That is the line from the from the from the episode. And so, I guess he, uh, the lady pirate wants treasure to buy back her crew that includes her sons. Right. And so she's trying to get the, the lost treasure of the old pirate ship man. And I guess that led her to that statue. I can't quite remember what the justification is for that, but I can believe that there's a line in there. Okay. So that's how she's there. That's why all the that's there. That's what the keystone is. Now, why is the doctor there? She was aiming to go somewhere, and she, she, I think she says we're, we're we're several hundred years off or something. Yeah. So she lands, and then there's like, she tries to skim stones on the water, and there's just like, a, 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 they 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 reflect off, and she's like, it's a kinetic something, and I I don't actually understand what that was or why that happened. No, I don't either. No. Okay. Um. Then. Well, then what? They, oh, then they bump into the 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 massacre from yeah 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 the, the sea monster, and in seconds they construct a whole trap that apparently was just there the whole well, time. Maybe I mean, I guess it was just sort of lying on the floor for them. The the funny part of it is that it's superfluous. He cuts right through it. Like That's they're successful, true. And then he's like, no, that doesn't need, that didn't need to happen at all. <laughs> a very strange choice. Yeah. Uh, Because it's like it's and, in terms of it like being consequential or ruining the plot or anything factor, it's really like it doesn't really matter, right? It didn't have a consequence, it's a, so it's, it's just curiosity. a weird moment. But in terms of the, the embarrassing and confusing factor, it's way up there. Well, yeah, and you still have the question of just what in the hell these characters like they they must have planned this or well, yeah, because between shots, the I doctor guess? says now like they'd formulated a plan. But they just arrived, and then they they sprung we a trap. surprised by the sea devil, yeah. Um, so I can't quite remember what happens next. They meet up with Pirate Lady. They two of them, right? Yeah. So Pirate Lady says she wants the so, treasure. Yeah. And so Dan, they're like, we're gonna go back in time to find out where the treasure ended up. Dan gets go forward, separated from know, the Doctor the and the I. That's yeah. the other side of it. Their side is doing that. They they even say when they walk into the TARDIS, oh, he wandered off. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> like, it's oh, well. really weird. Um, yeah. And and then, and then of course, uh, they, they go back in time to find out where the treasure ends up from the ship sinking. And yet they discover, well, they say that the, the captain was in league with the Sea Devils. They have no idea what's happening, but they just go with that. And then they come back and end up on the ship with Dan's almost uh, also there with the son of the guy because he's like we got to get on a ship and does he want to kill her or stop her or something? Um, yeah, and so Dan the, just goes along. The, the, why not? The the young guy wants to kill um, Madame Ching to avenge his father who was killed by the Sea Devil, but she was like there and he blames her. I think. I mean, she kind of released it, you know. Yeah, that's true. She did do that. Did she know that that's what was going to happen? No. Okay. At least I think she was shocked. But she doesn't strike me as the kind of person who would be like, sorry. That I think she'd just be like, yeah, whatever. But she did seem kind of sorry. So... Well, I mean, she killed a lot of people in real life. I, I even meant just from the, what we saw in the show, you know? But I don't know, maybe she lived by like but, a, a, a moral code or, a, or something, like an honor code or something, I don't know. Wow, lame. I don't know that much about her. What a lame-o. So, um, hang on. Um, 
so so the, the sea devils were making a deal with the ship in the past Because they wanted the ship itself? They wanted the keystone, presumably? What? What? So the keystone was on that ship then? Yeah, because it was given to that right. random guy who had the same surname as the modern guys because they were his ancestors. But that guy went overboard, so they, they didn't get it. Okay. The sea devils appear out of thin air on that ship. Yes. Like ghosts. They can do teleportism. Is that just like an ability they have? I suppose so. I can't remember if they gave us a reason for that. Because it doesn't happen in any other scenes, is the thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Um, okay, the sea devils... So, okay, so the Doctor and Yaz then materialize underwater after they see that on the boat. Why do they do that? Are they they looking they're looking for the the shipwreck, right? In the future? Yes. Um I don't know. I don't know why I, I don't know. What do they want to what do they want to find out? Like what do they But then the ground falls away beneath them, the seabed and a sea monster oh, yeah. comes out. It's a giant fish, yeah. Yeah. Um Hang on. So, what did that like fish mean to the story? Eh? It was like a form of yeah, because they never killed it or dealt with it or stopped it, right? It was just sort of I don't like I don't know what it what it's like. I don't know what it was for in terms of like just the the plot or the or anything like. They never killed it. Did it have it? Did it ever have like consequence? I don't remember. I, I, I don't know if they resolved it. And like, what was it doing under the seabed? Was that just where they keep it, I guess? I suppose. That's all we can gather. Um. Then, like, it, it tries to eat the TARDIS, and then what happens? They end up on... Pirate lady ship, don't they? I, I don't remember. Yeah, I can't. I'm not. I can't remember like how that how they get there. Or do they end up in the Sea Devil base first? Uh. I think they. Yeah, I think they're on the. They. No, yeah, because they end up on Pirate Lady's ship, uh, because they steal the Sea Devil ship. Oh, okay. I think. I think. So yeah, they go to this. I think. The, the the ground caving away shows them where the sea devil base is? And... Um... So in the Sea Devil base, the Sea Devils reveal that they still have that old pirate man from the first ship where the Keystone was. Yeah, he's in like a little thing. Does anything else important happen there? They delay the the Sea Devil for a while. Uh, Do they? Because like the, the Sea Devils were like, "Where's the Keystone?" And then the key, the Sea Devil. Oh, that's what the fish, the big fish, contributes to the plot. It sniffs out the keystone for the sea devils. Oh. Um, and they detect it on Pirate Lady's ship. Yes, in the hands of Guy. Yeah. Um. So the big fish. Um. Is uh, it's like a sniffer dog. I think that's what Yaz says. Anything else happened on the Sea Devil base? I think that was it. But it feels well, they, like it felt like such a long scene. Well, where, it felt like such a long scene, and loads of stuff like felt like it was happening. It felt like there was a plot point every couple of seconds. But yeah, they free they free the old pirate man. Um, 
who then joins them on their quest and they steal the um a sea devil the, the sea devil like ship that can fly so then they join up with Dan and pirate lady and keystone guy on their ship and the sea devils attack and then they have a sword fight with the sea devils i guess Yes, yes. A very awkward fight. It is a bit funny. My my personal favorite moment was when the Doctor did a Matrix dodge. I liked it when she took all the effort to jump onto a rope that was across from like the banister, and then she just drops down, like lets go of the rope and just hits the ground. It's like, why don't you just jump over then? What was the point of grabbing the rope? Um, you fool. Then... I actually couldn't tell you what happens next. Can you remember what happens next? They defeat them all, and she says, I'm going to go do something, and then the old pirate guy stabs one of the sea devils, and she's like, you didn't have to kill him. That's not plot, though. That's character. Well, that's something that does happen after that fight, so I it does. remember that. Yeah, I, I, I remember that as well. You're not special. I am special. Uh... Hmm. So, the, like, I mean, the next thing I remember is, like, they're in the Sea Devil base again, and Dan is, like, killing six Sea Devils with a, a single swipe of his sword. I wonder if the Doctor would have appreciated that. I mean, I think that the difference they were going for is that the, the Sea Devil killed by old Pirate Man was, like, on the ground, whereas the other six Sea Devils were, like, approaching Dan with intent to kill. Apparently. All I remember is them growling. That means they're evil. Oh. So can you remember how they get from the doctor saying, you shouldn't have killed that sea devil, to being... No, no, no. ...underwater in the sea devil base? I am never going to remember how that happened. I, or are I, they just on I, the, I, I, or is, like are they on the sea devil ship? I have seen missing in my head for that. Okay, so then on the Sea Devil ship or base, um, they run through and they ha and they like. The Doctor builds some kind of contraption that blows up the Sea Devil base. Yes. I have. I can't remember any more details about it than that. Like she does something and the Sea Devil bl base blows up. I couldn't tell you what it was. Yeah, that's that's. I'm really I trying. I'm really trying. Blaria, the Bleria is more. I'm surprised I remembered as much as I did. Um. So. Okay. Then okay, so the, then the Doctor blows up the Sea Devils, and then they can't do the um. They can't do the plan anymore with the keystone because all of them are dead. Then they leave and have a conversation about um, how the show the, they're going to die soon or whatever. How there's only one episode left. That's their conversation. He says, I wish this could last forever. One more That's episode! Like, oh. And she's dead. Anyway. Maybe that's what the payoff will be, that her and Yaz, like, agree to hang out, and then she regenerates, and Yaz is like, you were right, everything's so fleeting, I'm gonna leave. Maybe. Maybe. That would be a good arc. Uh, 